This video is a crash course on Jar Wars and what to expect the day of. It will hopefully answer any questions you may have. And so, clean money pays, dirty money stays. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so we have that today going on. And so you guys please can help us through that. Uh, we have two people right now. We have a preview for November 14th to show you guys how it is and how it goes along. So we have two people coming up that will go against us for this uh, quick amount of time. And the first person... The announcer will call each team to the front when it is their turn. Before you even arrive to the Jar Wars night, each person in your team must have money for their $75 buy-in. This helps in getting the bids rolling, and it also keeps you accountable for fundraising. The more people you have on your team, the more buy-ins. And more buy-ins equals more money. Paid off the loser who gets slime, get to keep the money to save up for number 14. Am I right? Hey! Woo! So enough talking about this. Also, yeah. at the end. Make sure to bring more than $75 if you really want to win though. This is a fundraising event that goes way beyond your surroundings. It directly impacts people hearing the gospel. So with that being said, let's get started! Yeah. Just raise your hand and just yell out the name you want to clean, stay clean, and then the money. So let's say one, John, just stay clean, you just raise your hand. But Jonathan, $5 yeah. for John. Stop that. Alrighty? Okay, 20 and John from Jason. Now, bidding. In order to bid, an audience member must raise their hand and call to the announcer. They must say a number, which is the amount of money they are bidding, and who it is on, meaning the person whose total they are adding it to. The totals will be displayed on the screen, and the person who has the most money is the person who is winning the auction. The French is doing tally, it's like some competitive video. 10 for Caitlin. 10 for Caitlin from Ellen. Wow. Ooh, people do love Caitlin. Make sure to give your money to your friends in the audience. During your auction, your friends in the crowd that have your money will raise their hands and bid on you. Choose wisely, though. Your friends may use your money against you throughout your auction. Fifteen for Caitlin from Blair. Fifteen for Caitlin. Quick tip. You only have to pay the money for the team who wins, so feel free to bid for both sides because you'll only have to pay for one side. The only exception is for the staff auction. The staff will decide a total amount that they would like their auction to raise. If both teams' totals add up to this goal amount, then all of staff will be slimed and all bids must be paid regardless of the team you bid on. You'll have to pay for every bid you make when you bid for staff. Tied again, 190, 190. Set on Gigi! Set on Gigi! Set on Gigi! 20 on Kayla! The announcer will close out the auction once all of the bids are in. The team with the most money on the screen when the auction is closed remains clean. They do not get slimed. They instead get to slime the opposing team the team who has the least money on the screen when the auction is closed. So if you bet on Caitlin, please come after, at the end of this because you want to see this first. At the end of the after the auction is over, you'll go over to the money table and give your cash to the person taking the money. Take your time whenever you're ready. Count us down, Caitlin. Yeah, count us down. Count us down. Yeah. Count us down. A hundred. Starting at a hundred. Start from five. Four. Four. Pro tip. Make sure to wear clothes you'd be willing to throw away. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let's review. Teams bring in $75 a person for buy-in, which you automatically start with. You give the rest of the money to your friends in the crowd so that they can bid on you. You bid on the team you want to win. To bid, you raise your hand, pull out the amount you want to bid, and the team who you're bidding on. You only have to pay for your bids on the winning team, excluding the staff auction. 
The team with the most money at the end of the auction wins and does not get slimed. The team with the least money gets slimed by the winning team.